Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Here, this might help. There you go. Have you ever wondered about the correct way to hold a knife? Norwalk Community College has an instructional culinary video lesson that will demonstrate safe and proper ways of handling a knife. After watching this show, you should know how to set up your workstation, use a knife, sharpen a knife, hold a knife, and cutting techniques. Want to learn how to use a knife? Want to learn the proper way to hold a knife? and do things the way the chefs do it. Well, on today's culinary video lesson, you will learn how to set up your station, how to sharpen your knife, how to hold a knife, and different cutting techniques. How Do I presents the instructional culinary video lesson. Today I will talk about how to use a knife, how to set up your station, sharpening the knife, holding the knife, and cutting the techniques. The first step is setting up your station. It's important to have a board, steel, towel, knives. Make sure your workstation is clean. The first knife I want to talk about is the chef knife because it's most commonly used. This is a chef's knife. It ha the knife has a curved blade about 12 inches long and a heavy handle. The chef knife can be used for mincing, slicing, chopping vegetables, disjointing large cuts. We use a steel to sharpen the knife. It's important to sharpen your knife before each use. I'm going to demonstrate the proper angle, pressure, and time. Slide knife from the tip of the steel to the base on one side at a 20 to 30 degree angle. Then repeat on the other side. Repeat 8 to 10 times per side. Test the sharpness of your knife by simply using it. Why sharpen a knife? A blade gets dull very quickly, especially when being used over a cutting board. A chef's knife is designed to perform well at many different kitchen tasks rather than excelling at any one in particular. It can be used for mincing, slicing, and chopping vegetables, slicing meats, and disjointing large cuts. A chef knife has a curved blade and a heavy handle. Hold the knife as shown to make it stable in your hand. Notice how the chef is holding the heel of the knife with his thumb and index finger. Many people believe that keeping the fingers far from the knife is the safest way, but that way the knife is getting closer and closer to your fingers as you chop. Instead, keep the back of your fingers in touch with the knife. This way, you always feel where the knife is without even looking at it. Start with one slice at a time. Remember to always keep the knife in touch and parallel to your fingers. Practice it a few times and when you feel more confident you can add more slices and speed. The next knife I would like to introduce is the parry knife. A parry knife is small and lightweight. It is used for making fine details. The paring knife is used for slicing and peeling. The paring knife is a small knife with a plain edge blade that is ideal for peeling and other small intricate work such as deveining shrimp, removing the seeds from a jalapeno, or cutting small garnishes. 
It can be used to make small details into things. For example, slicing kiwi, peeling fruit, slicing the top out of a strawberry. The chef is using a paring knife to cut the zucchini because the skin is very thin. Notice how the skin on the squash is a lot thicker than the skin on the zucchini. Now the chef is using his chef knife to make a beautiful decor. He's going to make a garnish from the skin of the zucchini. Notice how the chef is holding the knife and keeping his fingers closed. Today we learned how to use a knife. We learned the difference between a chef's knife and a parent knife. We learned how to set up a station, sharpening the knife, holding the knife, and the proper cutting techniques. I got it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Not so hard no. with 10 fingers. On today's edition of How Do I, you learn how to set up your workstation by having the proper tools and knives. It is important to keep your cooking area clean. You learn how to use and hold the knife by holding the heel of the blade with your thumb and index fingers. Using your other three fingers to hold the handle and cutting techniques. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of How Do I? with your host, Chris Theodoridis, directed by Nadira Panky. I'm your announcer, Eric Hahn. This has been a Norwalk Community College student production.